So, you've been thinking about getting a new CPU for that dusty old beige box that you've got sitting in the corner. Well, I've got the product for you, and stop, before you go, it ain't those shiny new AMD K6s. It's, in fact, the Cyrix M2. So, this is what I've been working on for the past several weeks. It's literally just getting a Cyrix M2 to run Minecraft and stuff. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, now, hold on, hold on. Before you pick up the pitchforks, the M2 does have one advantage over the K6. Compatibility. It may not run, uh, well, but... With the power of Roytam 1's Basilisk backport, you too can browse the modern web very slowly. And hey, if you're watching this video, maybe you're interested in more weird and random stuff. So why not check out that subscribe button down below? I usually like to do some tech stuff every week and a bit of Minecraft on the side. Now, how does the AMD K6 deal with web browsing? Oh wait, oh, wait, it doesn't. doesn't. In all fairness though, the K6 can still browse the web on slightly older browsers. They don't support some of the features that the absolute latest and greatest have. For example, certain JavaScript features that break very new sites like Offprint when they're missing. But it's still better than Internet Explorer. So what can the M2 do? And what about the K6? Oh. Well then. And on top of all that, the ASUS P5A that I've been using requires a resistor mod that I have yet to install for the Plus series of K6 CPUs to actually run at full speed, so guess what? The K6 has been nerfed all this time! Basically, what I'm trying to say here is that the M2 kinda sucks. But hey, it can load off print. So... In the end, despite being placed well near the bottom of the barrel when it came to performance, the Cyrix M2 does still have one place where it wins out against the competition, and that is in forward compatibility. I don't know whose bright idea it was at Cyrix to give the M2 support for 686 level instructions such as CMOV, but thanks to their efforts, the M2 is really the only Socket 7 chip that is truly able to call itself a 686. Thank you for watching.